Okay, so this episode is going to be a little different. Where I will be talking about a bunch of different songs. But they're kind of like a weird relative conversation. So the first song will be Zodiac Sign by Will <laughs> Will Gitson. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But he was gaining some traction from this song called Zodiac. It was like um, about what's your sign. So I was like, what's your sign? Um, but it it grew. It grew more viral from TikTok, and then. It grew from TikTok, and then it slowly, slowly, slowly grew on Instagram where people were doing it as a thing for reals. So, but I will say, it is an extremely catchy song. Now, this is kind of, it's been out for a while, I have, but I really wasn't sure if I should talk about it, but it's a very good song. I, I do rate it 8 out of 10, and I believe that it went viral because it's with my age and my sign, stuff like that. And it's, it's really, it's a really a catchy song, really catchy chorus. I don't think a lot of people know where he goes. Asking, asking me all these questions or something like that. I don't believe people caught that. I think they just kind of cut the chorus and kind of ran with it. This song, well, I do like this song. It, it's, a, it's a very, it's a way for people to explain it. It's not something they do. And stuff like that and it's a very catchy song it's not a bad song at all it's actually a very dope song that i think would should get some more recognition this second song is from a minor underage and for many reasons the song is very it's different so it's not like Bow Wow when he was like 16 or Chris Brown when he was 16. Um, but this is also a, a woman. She's a a female. Um, a songwriter and also an artist. She is 16. The amount of power in this song, it I can't really explain it. So this song, it just kind of reminds you that it's there. And it's kind of not going anywhere because it is a good song. And you kind of forget that the time goes by. And now they have it as R&B and soul. Which I do think is more R&B and soul than it is um, pop. But it has that strong, like, southern feel to this single that came out. Also, did this come out a couple months ago. So, I can watch it. But I always listen to it because it's all it has, like, that very bold feeling to it. Like, hey, we're here. But it's called True Love, and it's by Luna L. It's 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 a weird, like pop and R and B kind of emotions that come through this song, and it lasts to the very second. Like I did not realize I had three seconds left on this song when I was listening to it because it's just a powerful song. You hear the her voice; it sounds like a southern like southern but it sounds like hey I'm just with more power almost like she needs to be an American to be a talent because it's just that good of a song to me as I said it's from a 16 year old but her insights on relationships are so remarkable because she says you've been running through my head she does a high note that's an ooh like an a eh, like an ah or a high note that's an ooh and I do like that part of the song, but it's also like, it's like, don't walk away. Because I can't say a lot of this to your face, so I'm saying this this way because I can't say it to your face. So, okay, well, I can't express myself directly in front of you, so I kind of did a song, or I kind of wrote this, or I'm kind of explaining myself this way so that you fully understand how I feel, which I think is mature to write at 16. But also a good way to explain it, at 16. So, I do like that song. That's an 8 out of 10 for me. There's also a third artist is also a minor. She's 14 years old. She's a songwriter. The song is called Destiny. 
it's written extremely well for me. I, I don't really expect this. As I said, I don't really expect this from 16 and 14 year olds. I don't really expect this from them. Where it's a lot of serious information coming out that people don't really talk about. Um, but the way to translate it from paper to words and then to actually write the hook or if they is going to record and then write it later. I'm not sure on what their method is. So her name is Soleil. My accent probably messed up, but it's Soleil. Um, she's also, as I said, she's also 14. She's also a songwriter, and the song is called Destiny. It is on, oh, I heard it on Sound. I heard it on SoundCloud. It's also on Spotify, and I'll put both of those links there. Just in case you want to go listen to it. It's lyrical, but I think to me there are there's it's, it's a it's a different style. So there aren't a lot of people that sing with a lot of high notes anymore. So I like her singing this with a high note because it's like I want to hold you, and it's a it's a I want to hold you, I want to hold you like the, almost like she's playing a scale in her head. Like, I want to I want to hold you, I want to hold you, I want to hold you, or I want to hold you. It's like she's playing a scale because it gets lighter, 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 or an octave higher each time, or an octave lower, and I just like that. And then she goes right back to the normal singing voice and then loops it back around, which is said like a chorus, which I'm not sure if it is a chorus, but it, it sounds like it's a chorus. I wanna hold you, I wanna hold you, I wanna hold you. Um, also, she also carries her uh, O's on her high notes, so it's like, oh. Which I do like that too. But the story does, but it does have a different kind of background to the story. So this story, and with the other story, but with this story, it's almost like a trying to find a love story. Like you're going through life trying to find love, but she explains a few times that. Um, when she says like us like the stars meaning we could be as close as the stars or hopefully hopefully we'll last forever which I think is a good way to say that but she also runs on her uh, as I said I do like high notes but she runs it like it's a run oh 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 she runs it and I like that part of that but she does run like a scale we really cannot, I don't know what it is about instruments, but we cannot forget these strings that are playing here because it's just a smooth string. It's like probably like, I don't, it's a weird string instrument. But it's, I don't know if she picked it out or she went in the studio and just kind of did it or she has my play for it, but I do like the way it is played, like the scales. Really, I just kind of like the song. It's very catchy, though. Like, will we find permanent love? And hopefully it's meant to be when I find it. And I think that's, as I said, it's a mature content for a person at the age of 14. And I do like it. So I'd say go give Soleil a, a look on um, Soleil a look on Instagram and Luna L. On Instagram, I'll leave both of them links there. I'll share that. I'll share the videos and everything else. I just want to make sure that you, you know, you really get a feel for it. And Zodiac by um, by Will, you can definitely go find that anywhere. The the audio should be anywhere, and you can also save audio on Instagram. So I think you know, we'll definitely you'll definitely be able to explore it a little bit more.